What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. We are back with another This Week in Destiny, taking a look ahead at everything that you can expect for the up and coming week. This week sees the return of Guardian Games in 2022. We also have a brand new Master Raid Challenge for the Vow of the Disciple. Freelance Trials Labs returns and there's even a community voted map this weekend. There's a lot to cover in this video, so be sure to stick around and enjoy. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a comment and rating down below. And remember to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. Just over 60% of the viewers on the channel aren't currently subscribed, so be sure to hit that red button and ring that bell to make sure you don't miss an update. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. Everyone loves a party and Raid Shadow Legends are celebrating their third anniversary. Over the years we've seen regular updates with new content added every few months. We had the addition of the Doom Tower that introduced new bosses spoiling over 120 levels. Now Raid has hundreds of characters and bosses but that doesn't stop them adding more and more champions. And if adding characters wasn't enough, last year Raid added a whole new faction. This comes in the form of the Shadowkin and they're one of the best factions out there. And on top of this they added one of the newest and biggest additions to raid and i'm talking about the hydra clan boss now this boss is really challenging and rightfully so as this offers some of the best artifacts in the game now i invite you all to join the party and download raid shadow legends today using the link down in the video description below now raid is kicking off these celebrations with free gifts for everyone we're talking new champions new artifact sets and a fully personalized video showcasing your raid journey and all your personal achievements hit my link in the description or scan the qr code that you see here on screen Screen and you'll get a birthday package worth over $40. We're talking three free champions all at once. The Missouri Cord, the Tiger Soul and Romero, plus 10 Magic XP Brews, 10 Force XP Brews and 10 Spirit Brews to get you started. And as it's Raid's birthday, all new and existing players can get a bunch of free birthday gifts worth over $25 too. Once you're in game after clicking the link in the description, just enter the promo code 3 year raid that you see here and you'll get your hands on everything it's really that simple. There's never been a better time to jump into raids, so come in and join the party and all the details can be found down in the video description below. Another week and another This Week in Destiny and this week sees the return of Guardian Games in 2022. This kicks off on the 3rd of May and is free for all players and will conclude on the 24th of May at the end of Season 16. Now much like in previous Guardian Games events, participants will be tasked with depositing those hard-earned medallions at the podium over in the tower. Now you can earn medallions by completing certain activities and mini quests. These are called Contender Cards and Platinum Cards and these activities are designed to be entirely flexible so whenever you've got the time you can earn some sweet medallions for your class. Now you can earn high tier medallions from harder activities. These grant more points and can be earned from things like raids, dungeons, competitive PvP and seasonal activities on harder difficulties. There are also the lower tier medallions which are very important too and these drop from things like Gambit, Vanguard Strikes and Quick Play over in the Crucible and other Throne World activities. You can also earn gold medals by completing contender cards on those easier activities and the platinum medals will drop from platinum cards for those tougher pieces of content. Now something new for for this year's Guardian Games is the return of strike scoring in Destiny 2. Now there are nearly 50 strike medals that have been added back to the game for us to earn high scores in these Guardian Games specific playlists. Now when you enter these playlists really matters so on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday this week the place to be will be in the training playlist and in here you can earn practice scores which are combined to your total score for your entire fire team. Then on Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday it's time to get sweaty in the competitive playlist for Guardian Games and that's where you can earn earn some exciting rewards. Now players can earn buffs in the recreational, training and competitive playlist by ranking bronze, silver, gold or platinum and these will last until the next weekly reset. Now any of those extra buffs you can use in the regular Vanguard playlists and players will also be able to unlock torches to light in the tower based on the highest score threshold. So for example lighting a bronze, silver, gold and platinum torch will grant rewards and a special glow that can be seen on the right shoulder of your guardian. Now each class of guardian also has a brand new set of armor for this year's games here we can see the hunter donning the blue the titan in the neon red and the warlock donning the yellow now as well as new bounties to go alongside the new guardian games we also have a new legendary weapon to chase this comes in the form of the title legendary submachine gun which is a hack a void smg now this weapon has a wide range of perks and it also has a unique origin trait specific to the guardian games now as well as the title you can also earn additional class items and also get another shot at the air apparent exotic machine gun you also have a chance to get your hands on its catalyst too so if you missed out on it on the previous guardian games events then you have another opportunity this time around to get your 
your hands on it. And finally, Bungie go on to mention that the top 10% of players at the end of the event will get a swanky new emblem. There's a triumph in game. So once the top 10% has been determined at the end of the event, you'll be able to redeem it and get your hands on this awesome Guardian Games emblem. All in all, there's some subtle but exciting changes to this year's event. But as always, guys, be sure to let me know who you think is going to come out on top down in the comments below. Now moving on to the raid challenges for the up and coming week, we have a new raid challenge for the Master Vow of the Disciple and this can be found over in the upended encounter. That's the third major encounter in that raid and this challenge is called Defenses Down. Now to get this challenge done, each guardian cannot kill more than one knight in total throughout the course of the encounter. Now we made a guide right here on the channel how to complete all the raid challenges in the Vow of the Disciple. So if you're preparing to jump in ahead of this week's weekly reset, then be sure to check that video out and I'll leave the link to that down in the video description below. Next up we have the Vault of Glass, this is still offering powerful rewards if you're on some of the power grind and the challenge this week can be found over in the Oracle's Encounter. This is called the Only Oracle for You and players cannot destroy the same Oracle more than once during the course of the encounter. Now if you and your team can nail this challenge, you'll be able to get your hands on a new time loss weapon this week and that is the Praedis Revenge. Now the time loss weapons have second perks in the third and fourth column alongside a curated roll ensuring you get a god roll each and every time. All in all it's still worth running the Vault of Glass to get your hands on these weapons and be sure to let me know your thoughts are the time loss weapons better than the adept vow weapons now moving on from the raids and over to dares of eternity and we have some new armor and weapons to chase in this 30th anniversary pack activity as for armor sets this week we have three on offer and these are from the old faction rally we have the anti-extinction set which is the old dead orbit set from the faction rally alongside that we have the sovereign suit set which is the old new monarchy set and alongside that we have the simulator suit set which is the old future war cult armor set now it is possible for these armor sets to be sold at zer but if you're still completing your transmog collection and they're missing a few pieces then make sure to jump into dares and these have a chance to drop during the course of the activity or upon activity completion as for weapons this week we've got a smaller loot pool but these are all weapons from season of the worthy and some from season of arrivals we have the enigmas draw sidearm alongside the dire promise hand cannon the true prophecy returns as well alongside the timelines vertex fusion rifle we've got the honor's edge sword next to the interference and the distant tumulus also makes a return we've got the arsenic bite which is one of the best legendary bows in the game alongside the Zhuan 7 pulse rifle and the final weapon on offer is the escape velocity which is an incredible submachine gun there are some really good weapons available in dares this week so if you're still seeking out god rolls on any of those random roll weapons then be sure to jump into dares to get your hands on them now moving on to weekly challenges we have a new weekly mission for the up and coming week this is called the last chance which is the seventh mission in the witch queen campaign now if you complete this on harder difficulty there are some key triumphs that you need to get done for the end of the season but you also have additional chances to get your hands on ascendant alloy this can drop in the hero legend and master difficulty with higher drop chances on harder difficulties as for wellspring upon this week's weekly reset this will be wellspring attack and at the time of posting this video on monday's reset the tarnation grenade launcher will be in rotation so if you're still seeking out the tarnation and come to pass for your exotic glaives then the tarnation will be available on monday and friday this week with the come to pass being available on thursday remember guys that the wellspring alternates between attack and defend on alternate days whilst rotating through four weapons in its loot pool so whether you're chasing down those weapons or additional exotic glaive patterns then be sure to jump into wellspring this week and moving on to weekly rituals we have a new nightfall and grandmaster nightfall for this week and this will be found over in the fallen saber strike this is a reprise strike from destiny one and has a plenty of overload champions now as for weapons that could be available this week we had the comedian last week and a weapon we haven't seen in quite some time is the hothead legendary rocket launcher it's entirely possible that this could be available this week so if you haven't got your hands on a good one and this can roll with explosive light then be sure to jump into the nightfall to get your hands on it now moving over to the crucible we have momentum control in rotation so if you like those low time to kills and something a bit different outside of clash which we had last week then momentum control will be available throughout the course of the week but if you're looking for something a bit more competitive then trials this weekend will be offering trials labs which grants freelance alongside a community voted map so be sure to keep those peepers peeled on all the Bungie socials to see when that community vote will take place and let Bungie know what map you want to see upon trials this weekend. Now to go alongside that we also have bonus trials ranks all week long so it's a perfect opportunity to jump into freelance for some quick easy ranks whilst hopefully playing a community fan favourite map. 
Now, as we enter week 11 of Season of the Risen, there are no more seasonal challenges in this current season. There are new triumphs, though, for Guardian Games. However, these aren't currently visible in the game. So be sure to check them out when loading in on Tuesday's reset to see what new triumphs you need to chase to earn some additional medals for Guardian Games. Now, with all the weekly formalities out the way, it's time for one of the most important parts of the week. And that's what Tess has available for Bright Dust in week 11 of Season of the Risen. Now, in the featured Bright Dust shelf, we have the Half Volley Exotic Ghost Shell, a tennis ball themed ghost shell that was introduced in a previous Guardian Games event. So if you missed out on it in the last event, you can pick it up this time for 2,850 Bright Dust. Alongside that, we have a brand new Transmat effect called Cherry Blossom Entrance. Sadly, no preview as it's entirely new to the game, but you can pick it up if you like for 450 Bright Dust. And as for the shader this week, Rivalry Black Sand returns from a previous Guardian Games. Now, this is one of my favorites when it comes to black and white shaders. So if you missed out on it in the last event, you can pick it up right now for 300 Bright Dust. Now, over in the main Bright Dust store, we have a new exotic emote called Reigning Champion. Now, this will set you back a thousand silver if you wish to purchase it, but you can pick it up in week one of Guardian Games for Bright Dust, and this will set you back 3,250. Alongside that, we have the plush exotic go shell once again from a previous guardian games event now you can pick this up for 600 silver when the event launches on tuesday's reset but you can also purchase it for bright dust and this will set you back 2850 alongside that we have the front runner an exotic ship from guardian games last year and this can be picked up for 2000 bright dust this time around that's alongside a new legendary emote called water break once again sadly we don't have previews as it's entirely new and not currently visible in the game but you can pick it up anyway for 700 bright dust this week and that's alongside recognize a rare emote this is actually from season 10 but i actually didn't have this in my collection surprisingly but if you missed out on it like i did you can at least pick it up for 400 bright dust this week and the final item on offer is a ghost projection called gold medal now this was introduced on last year's guardian games event so if you missed out on it and fancy changing it up then this will set you back 1500 bright dust this week so there we have it guys, a good look at everything that you can expect from week 11 of Season of the Risen. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out one of the two videos you see here in these cards for more Destiny 2 content. And if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with Destiny 2, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.